my music and sound effect video game reel featuring Audio Kinetics Wise. I recorded and processed every single sound you are hearing, including composing the musical score. As you'll hear, the adaptive soundtrack grows in intensity as a player progresses through the level. I use the real-time parameter controls within Wise to make this possible. This was composed in Apple's Logic. Now for the sound effects. The first thing I thought that I needed to stress was good scary monster sounds. So I went to the only place where I knew to find them. The dinosaur park, of course. <coughs> to make the ogre sound. <coughs> but my predominant voice actors were the dogs Cleo and Snaps, <coughs> my five-year-old niece Penelope, <coughs> and my friend Brooke. <laughs> Processed and layered these sounds in Pro Tools, randomized and wise, and applied them to suit the size and personality of each individual creature. <laughs> the important thing about the guns was to produce a different sound for each part of the weapon. The high mechanism, the medium body, and the low end rumble, avoiding repetition, as detailed in the wise schematic view. But my favorite and actually most involved weapon were the punches. I created close to 500 different sounds just for this level. And to keep track and organize them all, I logged them in an asset spreadsheet, noting the recording methods used, recording dates, and implementation notes. Now I've talked about some of the major sounds in the game, but we all know that for a truly immersive gaming experience, one has to sweat the details. This included the splashing in and out of water in which I hired a talented stunt girl to kick around water and throw a branch into the creek. And this splashing leads to the underwater monster fight, which by applying states and Weiss's built-in EQ parameter with a low-pass filter, all aspects of the game, including the music, are muffled at this point to resemble being underwater. The access door to your impending doom is now That voice you hear over the intercom is my lovely Paulette. I directed her to say a few lines into the microphone and I planted triggers within the code and the game that specified when those speech lines would play. I also brought on a friend, an aspiring voice actor, James, to lend a hand with the main character's voice. Oh, I see the light. Finally, to wrap it up, we end up at the teleporter, which was recorded by putting the mic underneath the mower blades of a tractor, then layering it, adding some modulation and harmonic filters to give it a less mechanical but futuristic sci-fi vibe. Thanks for watching this demo. Now it's time for me to teleport out of here. So long.